In this video, I'm going to show you four ways of testing your hot tub pump. And at the end, there's one bonus test. Biggest thing. Now, if your hot tub's not working, the biggest thing you want to do is you got to make sure that this shaft is going to move. So it could be something that's just a seized bearing. If you have a pump like this, what you want to do is you want to try to get some needle nose in there. And if you can move that shaft at all, like it's easy to move. If you can move it at all, then just follow the next steps on how to test this. If you can't get to the shaft here, you're going to have to try to get to it from the back. Now this style here, you can't get to the back. You can try to pop this off and you have to twist it. Even if you could probably try to get to the fan here and get a screwdriver in there. Even if you have, there's a fan right in there. And if you can move it, if you can push that fan no problem and it's, it's moving, then you're going to have to test everything that's coming up next. Now, if you can't move that shaft at all, it's going to be a seize bearing. And I'll link it right above right here, the next video you should be watching. Testing hot tub pump fuses. If your hot tub's not working, what you want to do is grab yourself a meter, turn to continuity, so it beeps. So you want the leads to beep, and we're going to test the fuses. So since you're in there, you might as well test every fuse. And you want to hear the beep. On all of them. If you test a fuse and it doesn't beep, replace it. Testing the hot tub pump circuit board plug. Whatever hot tub pump you're testing, there's going to be a sticker on it somewhere on the motor, either on the top or it's going to be on the side. On any hot tub motor, what you're looking for is the volts, the RPMs, and the amperage. This hot tub pump is 115 volts, 12 amps, and the RPM is 3450. And the horsepower is one and a half. The information on this hot tub pump tells me that it's only 115 amps, 1.5 horsepower, and it's a single speed. The next hot tub motor is 230 volts. The amps are 12 on the high and 4.4 on the low. RPMs are 3450 and 1725 on the low. The information on this hot tub pump tells me that's 230 volts with two speeds because of the amperage draw and more than likely a four horsepower. Testing volts on the circuit board. The first spa pack we have here is a Balboa spa pack and then you'll have these types of plugins. So the first thing you're going to do is whatever pump you think is not working or just to check the pump and check the board, we're going to unplug it, whatever pump it is. Now here we have uh, two speed because we have an extra wire here the red one so it's two speed so it's high speed low speed on black and then neutral ground now for a single speed will be just the black and the white so if you have one that's like two speed you want to check both speeds so on the board what we're going to do is because it only plugs in one way like that so the top is red the next one is black, then neutral, then ground. So when you unplug it, so it's going to be red, black, white. So I'll show you how to test this, it. This meter here, I'll link down below. And it's, it's amazing. It tests everything. So you're going to go turn the volts, turn it to AC, make sure it's on AC. So on your top side, hit jet one. If it's jet one, say this is jet one right here. So we're going to hit the button once for low speed. So what we want to check is, we want to go black and white. So we're going to go black and white. So whatever volts that pump is, it's going to show up. So if the pump's 230 volts, it should say 230 volts. And the same thing, if it's high speed, it should say 230 volts. Just so we know it's working fine. So this is low speed, you put it like this, you hit jet 1, you'll see 230 volts. You keep it on like this. Have somebody hit jet hit jet one again, so you want it on high speed. Your meter should go right to zero, and once it goes to zero, just to check it, we'll keep it on. We'll keep the black on the on the white, and we'll come into the red, which is high speed, and should have 230 volts. 
if you're getting zero volts in here, it doesn't matter if you're pushing the top side, okay. it's going to be something on the board. It's probably going to be one of the relays for the pump. So you got to ch change the board, or you can try to change the relay. You got to test the relay. And I'll link it down below how to test the relays. Testing amps on the circuit board. So what you're going to do is, I've already cut this back, and this is how you cut it back. And the reason for this is we have a bigger meter with the clamp and it was like this before and we can't get in individual wires. We can't put it over top like this. So we have to go individual wires. So I just cut it back. Like all this, you don't want that outside the pack. So when you go to put it back, you just kind of put it like this and then make sure it's inside the pack. It's going to be similar to like this. So you just cut it back a little bit, enough that you can put the all the wires inside so it's still protected from the mice, if you have mice. So what you do is, so it's the same idea as the volts. So we're going to put a clamp, we're going to turn it to amps, we're going to put it low. So we already know what the amps are on the pump for low speed and high speed. Even if you have only one speed, it's the same idea. Uh, whatever the volts are and then whatever the amps are so if it's single speed it's going to be like 8 to 12 amps or whatever it is so we have it on amps turn it to ac and then what we're going to do is same thing we're going to go we're going to check the low speed you want to try to keep one of those wires away when interfering with it so we're going to push jet one button again on low speed Whatever the low speed amp, so if it's if it's four amps, it should, should be around four amps for low speeds. Once we've done that, we check high speed. Let's do high speed. Again, hit the top side button for high speed. And it's going to be whatever amps is on your motor. So if it's 10 amps, it should show up around 10 amps. Hot tub pump capacitors and where to find them. Here I have different hot tub pumps that have different capacitors in different locations. This is a capacitor that's at the top. There's only a single capacitor. This one here, there's no capacitor on the top. It's going to be in the back. And you know that if you have a plastic piece like this. So it's in the back and the capacitor is right there. This style here, the capacitor is right at the top. There's four screws on the top. And the capacitor is right here. Now this style right here has two capacitors and one's going to be for low speed and one's going to be for high speed. Now, these are really easy to check anyway because if you if you push the button and you have say if you have high speed but don't have low speed you'll just hear a clicking noise or a humming noise then you test your capacitor and it's going to be one of these here. And how you usually get them off is there's a screw here if they're on top. There's going to be two screws. There's going to be one on this side, one on the other side. Here we got one capacitor out and there's going to be a charge left in there. So we want to discharge all that. So you take a screwdriver, put it across the end so you can discharge that, uh, that charge that's in there. And then you can pull the leads off. Same thing for this style here. You just take this nut off right here, slides off, discharge it, pull the two leads off. For this style, it's just glued on. You just pull it off. And to test these, if you can't get these off here, you just cut them and then you have to re you have to splice them in. There's enough wire there, you can you can cut them off and uh, splice them together. Because they're so close together, 
what I would do is just cut it here, right about the middle, and then you can join them in after that. How to test a hot tub motor capacitor. The pumps that I just showed, I just took out all the capacitors and show you how to test them. This meter here, it's a capacitor tester and I'll link it down below. And as long as you have a meter that can test uh, capacitance. If you need to get a capacitor, all information's right on it. And we're gonna be testing the microfarads. Meter, I'm gonna test this meter and I'm gonna test with a multimeter. This one's just faster, a little bit more money if you do this a few times, get one of these things, but I'll link it down below. This one here is gonna be five microfarads. So we want it around five. 2.9 is about half that. I'll replace this. Now there is a percentage, I don't know, I'm not sure what the percentage is, but if it's that low, like that's half. 8% lower or something like that, it could be wrong, but if it's that low, I just replace them anyway. Next capacitor, this one's going to be 50. So we're going to do that. It's 50. This one's good. Uh, if you have a meter with capacitance, you're going to turn it to that. There we go. So we just tested 50 on here, so we'll see what we got. So 51.2. So we're within range of this one here. This one here I had to cut out. It was the one that was in that little box on top of the motor. So this one's at seven. So 5.6, even this one is pretty close, six, seven. Since I already cut it out, I'll get another one and put it back in. And this one here. So this one is there's a range in this one, it's 88 to 107. So 88 would be the low end. So there we go, 80, 83, 84, another one I would replace. Again, all information's right on it. If you test these capacitors in a zero or really low, replace it if you buy one of these and it'll say open or closed. So that means this is open or closed and it's a bad capacitor. That doesn't necessarily go to zero. This one here will go, it will say open or it will say closed. For capacitance, it might say zero, but that's how you test a capacitor on a hot tub pump. This is a test that you could do if you have two pumps. Now anybody that's got right to the end of the video, this is the easiest test. If you had a pump that wasn't working, say this was pump one, and this was pump two. Now you have to do this test, you have to have two pumps in your hot tub. So we'll say pump one wasn't working and we want to test it. So the very like the fastest thing to do is unplug it, turn the power off, unplug it, take pump two, put it in the pump one, and then take pump one and put it in pump two. Then turn it on. Assuming that you already tested the fuses and it's good, then it's probably something on the board, which is probably relay. But if you switch it over, pump one, that wasn't working, if you put it into the spot of pump two and you turn on the jet and it still doesn't work, then it's going to be the pump. And at that point, you would test the capacitor anyway. Or it could be a seized pump. And that's how you test a hot tub pump. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.